Do you want to know how to get a free bottle of wine on the first day of your cruise? Yes. Stick around and we'll tell you. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to our Cruise Tips 101 series where we're going to give you 101 cruise tips that we have compiled over the course of our vast cruising history. So today we have tips 21 through 30 which will include additional embarkation day tips as well as some items to bring with you. But before we do that, Bradford, would you like to give us an update on our subscriber giveaway? So the update on our thousand subscriber giveaway is right now we're at 550 subscribers marching our way towards a thousand. So at a thousand, we're going to give away a fantastic gift, a whole prize pack of things you can use on your cruise. But the really exciting news. What's it, the exciting news? The though? really exciting news is in that gift pack, we're going to give away a DJ Pocket Osmo camera. What? <laughs> That's right, so that you all can take video on your cruises as well and hopefully share it with the rest of the world like we do. So that's where we're at. So if you would like to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, get involved in that giveaway. We hit a thousand subscribers. We appreciate it. We do. So right now we're going to move on to tip number 21. Oh my goodness, 21. And I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. Number 21. Consider dining in a specialty restaurant on embarkation day. And why on embarkation day specifically, honey? That's right. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, do you want to know how to get a free bottle of wine on your first day of the cruise? That's how you do it on some cruise lines. I don't want to say all. <laughs> um, Carnival one for sure. Yes. If you dine in their specialty restaurant on night one, they give you a free bottle of white or red wine. That's cool. So tip number 22 is very, very important. Do not absolutely, and I say it again yes. with those air quotes, <laughs> do not miss the muster drill on the ship. We've talked about it numerous times. We have. You will have to do it no matter what, so don't miss it. Yeah, you will. If you don't go with the rest of the, uh, the folks, you'll have to do it with a small group of people. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, is you're inconveniencing the folks that are there for the muster drill because what they will do is they will wait and they'll make announcements to try to get you to the muster drill which just delays everybody else well so. the nice thing that the cruise ships are doing nowadays is not the most muster drills are no longer outside i see a lot of them going to inside yeah which so is that much makes more it convenient. it's much more convenient and you know sometimes when you get in those ports and you're standing out there and you've had a few cocktails oh you're like, cocktails? come on, let's who's, get... Who's had a few cocktails before the muster drill? <laughs> We're at the bar first thing we walk on that ship. <laughs> so, anyway, cocktails? don't miss the muster drill. That's a... You can't. Just don't. Just don't miss it. You just can't. All right, okay. number 23. The best days to get spa service are on embarkation day and port days as they often run specials. So, um... If you are interested in using the spa services, I recommend going on embarkation day and checking out and see what specials they have um, then. I know on Carnival, it's about three days in, you'll get a card that have, says that there are spa discounts. So if there's a port day that you're gonna miss or you get back early from your excursion, check it out. I did my last cruise and it was fabulous. So yep. I re highly recommend it. Take advantage of it because they give you steep discounts generally on it's the em embarkation day and, the, and your port days. So number 24, 24. speaking of discounts, is take advantage of those first day embarkation day discounts because they don't always have them just in the spa. They have them sometimes in the, the duty free shops. Um, they have raffles that they do on uh, embarkation day. Um, so if you're looking like a lot of times the first day, if you're looking to buy liquor like duty free liquor, um, they'll run a special on duty free liquor on the, uh, the first day. But that's after you've gone out to sea. They yes, don't open the yes, duty-free yes, yes, shops yes, until yeah, you're out yeah. to the sea. duty-free shops do not open until you're out to sea, um, so they cannot by, by law. By law. Okay, so. number 25. Check the location of your table in the main dining room. The last 
cruise that we were on, we went to the main dining room where we were going to be eating, and we actually were able to walk in and find our table, which is really nice because when you go to dinner, you're not looking around, you know exactly where to go. Exactly, and the other thing is the benefit of doing that before you go to dinner that yes. first night is, you know, sometimes you may not care for where the table location is. You know what, maybe you wanted a table for two, you know, whatever it is. If you go before dinner and see the maitre d, and generally you can go, he's usually available about one o'clock, 1.30 or so, mm -hmm. and ask him to change your table because you don't like the location, maybe you want something a little more private, maybe you wanna sit with people. Some people right. like to sit with a large group of people and meet people on the cruise ship, which we encourage, by the we way. We do. We've met this fabulous couple on my very first cruise yeah. who are still friends of ours to this day. Yeah. So, so um, he will try to accommodate a change for you who do the best he can. And I will tell you, most of the time they're able to do it. They're able yes. to accommodate a change. And that goes if you want your uh, dining time changed as well. So Excellent. See the maitre d'. Good tip, honey. All right. Number 26. <laughs> number 26. Lanyards Yay. are the best way to carry a sail and sign card. Right there, there's the sail and sign card. Is it upside down? It no. is not. I actually Yay! It's right side we up. got it right. It's right side <laughs> up. It really is the most convenient way to carry around your sail and sign card. You don't have to worry about having pockets, especially yes. if you don't have uh, pockets on your swim trunks or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're a female, you don't have to worry about sticking it in a purse or carrying a purse with you. Um, just very convenient. Um, some folks um, like to put the uh, hole in it which actually Carnival puts a hole in it automatically now, which is cool. So you can just wear it on the uh, the thing without having to pull it out of the plastic. And some people like that, but get a lanyard, right? And if you do not bring a lanyard with you, there are a couple of places on the cruise ship to get them. Number one is the casino. They'll give you a free lanyard. It's not going to be like a nylon lanyard. It's going to be this kind of what do you call that Spongy thing? Spongy cord kind of Kind of, lanyard. yeah. Looks like a telephone cord. Yeah. Like a small telephone cord. They'll, but they'll give it to you for free. Or you can go to the gift shop on the cruise ship and they will happily have you purchase one. <laughs> well, speaking of purchasing, um, personally for me, being that I'm a lady, I like one that's a little, looks more like jewelry. So you can find um, some jewelry looking type lanyards on Amazon. That's where I get mine. Oh yeah, there's hundreds of them. Yeah. So they're like necklaces, so. gold and They even have ones that have little and... buttons that you can change the stones out so you can coordinate it with your outfits. Just an FYI. Uh, maybe on the next cruise I'm going to go that route myself. <laughs> oh, it looks lovely. Yeah. <laughs> with your eyes. <laughs> so anyway, bring a lanyard. Bring a lanyard on the cruise with you. It'll make life a lot easier carrying around your sailing sign card and you won't have to worry about losing it. No. All, All right. right. What's our next tip, honey? Number, number 27. Oh, this one's good. I'm glad I got this one. Okay, number 27. If you suffer from motion sickness, bring along the medication and or, I have a couple of things. You can bring the C-bands and these go on your wrist. You wear both of them and then they hit this certain spot on your wrist. That can help with seasickness. Um, also, what I use personally are these motion sickness patches go right behind your ear. You can wear one for about one or two days and then I recommend changing it out. I wear it through the duration of the cruise um, unless when I get on the ship and we head out to sea, it's pretty sail, a uh, pretty smooth sailing. But if it gets a little bit of bumpy, I'll just put it on because I don't want to have that woozy feeling. Right. That you also can get over the counter medication. If you forget to bring it, you can see guest services and they will give they will help you out and give you a pill, a motion sickness pill. Correct? Or or sometimes. Sometimes guest services will have it or the medical center will definitely yeah. have it and they'll give you um, most of the time they'll give you the, the pills for free. Sometimes they'll charge you for them, um, but most of the time they're free. And if you have a real severe, severe case of motion sickness, you can actually get an injection in the, uh, in the medical center. They'll um, give you an injection of uh, motion sickness medicine, but um, they do not do that for free. Um, they will charge you. 
um, and they don't accept your insurance. <laughs> so you can you can run it through your insurance company afterwards and see if your insurance company will pay for it. Um, but um, on the cruise ship, you have to. They just put it right on your uh, your sail and sign account, whatever the, the cost is. Yes, and there's other things you can do. Ginger, I heard, or teas, things like that. So check it out before you leave if you think you'll have it. Yeah. Have seasickness. For sure. Like All right. Number 28. Getting down, getting down. So, um, super important. I guess it depends on which ports you're going to, but um, if you're going to the Caribbean or someplace tropical, yes. make sure you bring more than one bathing suit. Yes. Okay, because um, some people think they can just get through a week-long cruise with one bathing suit, and you can. You can. But... Um, Bathing suits in the tropics, they just don't try. No. Even if they're in your cabin, they right. just don't try because yeah. it's so it's so humid. So um, I usually bring four. Wow. Well, five. I, I know on our first seven. cruise, my first cruise, <laughs> I only brought two, and it was a seven day cruise, and we were going on a fourteen day cruise. The next cruise, well, actually, we went on another seven day cruise, but I did bring three bathing suits that time. So I've learned. So I do, I bring anywhere from three to four bathing suits yeah. just because they do not dry. It, it it literally, it takes days for them to dry. It does. And nobody likes to have to put on a wet Plus, bathing suit. When you're there, you want to rinse them out when you're done with them in your room if you can and then hang them out to dry. Yeah. So yeah. bring more than one bathing suit with you. Recommend it. Yep. All right. Number, Number 29. 29. Bring a first aid kit. And looky here what we got, the mega first aid kits of all first aid kits. Um, Brad and I joke that we could probably do surgery on someone with this first aid kit. You can do um, stitches. Yes, I know. So this is a, a, a very large um, first aid kit. You can get something much smaller. Amazon sells them. But for us, we like to be prepared and we are definitely prepared with this kit yeah and and it's uh, it's just it's got all the basics of course band-aids pain relievers right. things like that so and then other than that you know um always remember bring your bring your first aid kit obviously but make sure people forget to do this all the time bring some cold medicine bring yes. some sinus medicine bring some pain reliever bring some stomach medication yes pepto-bismol tums those things because remember you're eating a lot of rich rich food yes um you can get all those things on the cruise ship by the way you can get cold yes. medicine stomach medicine pain reliever but they are like double yes the price yes so if you'd like to save yourself a little bit of money and be prepared, bring it with Just you. Just bring it with you. Yeah, a lot of those things you can get at the dollar store. It's a little like four or five pack. And yeah, it's, it's just a little travel a packs. And, and then you just take it with you. It's a buck, so. And now we're going to go on to number 30. Number 30. Woo woo. All right. What is number third day? Ooh, cash. Cash money. Make sure that you bring cash for tipping. Okay. When you get on the cruise ship. I see those okay. monies. That's right. Those are going back in my wallet. <laughs> That's right. Those are going back in her wallet. So the Andrew Jackson collection of money. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so make sure you bring cash for tipping uh, on the ship because, yes, your gratuities can be put to your sail and sign account yes. to pay for your cabin steward and everything. But we always bring cash because it never fails. There is somebody on the ship that we want to tip a little extra money right and we want to tip them the extra money versus you know because when you pull your tips together it kind of gets distributed evenly right right this way if there's your cabin steward goes above and beyond if there's a bartender that goes right. above and beyond you can give them a little extra money and to, when i tell you they appreciate it they appreciate it yeah they so really do think about the denominations you'd like to bring with you um i would say ones and fives are best that's what we do we bring lots of ones and lots of fives. Lots of ones and lots of fives. So make sure you do that. So that's going to wrap up tips 21 through 30. Be looking out for tips 31 through 40 coming very shortly. And we post on Sundays and Wednesdays. Don't forget to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm Kimberly. I'm Brad. And we're Midlife Crazy. And thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye.